we're going to be looking at 7a part 3 of the National 5 2015 paper just now. Um, this question relates um, to the calculating the acceleration of the ship and what ship are we talking about here? If we go back to the question you can see that it's this ship where there were two forces acting on it uh, an 8 times 10 to the 3 newton force and a 6 times 10 to the 3 newton force. The question asked us to determine the size of the resultant force. Now if you've done question 7a part 1 you'll have figured out that that's 10 times 10 to the 3 newtons. So that is the resultant force acting on the ship. So let's go and see if we can solve this problem. What's the size of the acceleration on the ship? Well we've got the um, force, the resultant force, and we're looking for an acceleration. So this is a, a classic f equals ma problem. So let's add in some um, a uh, formula first of all, F equals MA, that's what we're looking for, uh, and then we're going to put in the values below that. So the force was 10 times 10 to the 3, or we'll just say 10,000 newtons, and that's equal to the mass of the ship. Now, I've forgotten what the mass of the ship is, so let's go up and have another look. Uh, the mass of the ship is there it is 5 times 10 to the 6 and um, so we can add that in to our solution and um, down here so let's carry on where we left off 5 times 10 to the 6 and um, 5 times 10 I'll just put that there and um, to the power of 6 and that's the mass of the ship and then we multiply that by the acceleration. Um, so that's our formula. The force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So to determine the acceleration, we need to do 10,000 divided by 5 times 10 to the power of 6. So you get your calculators out. You do 10,000 divided by 5 times 10 to the power of 6. And you get 2.0 times 10. And the uh, standard form is to the power of minus 3. Okay, so there's our answer. The acceleration is 2.0 times 10 to the minus 3. Um, first of all, we um, say 2.0 uh, because everything else in the question is two, sig two significant figures. That's two significant figures and the mass is also two sig fig. So our final answer we give to two sig fig. Finally, the units, um, well, the units are the units of acceleration, which is meters seconds um, to the power of minus, minus one, no, minus two. Did I get it right? It's acceleration. And so there you go. That's the answer complete. Of course, just to say in closing, um, had you managed to get the value of the resultant force incorrect in question one, uh, or A part 1, then if you use that value in, in here in A part 3, then you would still get the full 3 marks.